Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi has a blunt message for her Republican colleagues on the next stimulus package, take it or leave it. Here's what you need to know. Congress is at a tragic impasse for the next stimulus package, says Pelosi, a California Democrat. Pelosi told Republicans that there won't be further discussions until Republicans agree to a $2.2 trillion stimulus package, which is nearly double the size of the original Republican stimulus proposal known as the HEALS Act. We have said again and again that we are willing to come down and meet them in the middle, Pelosi said to reporters, referring to Senate Republicans. That would be $2.2 trillion. When they're ready to do that, we'll be ready to discuss and negotiate. I did not get that impression on that call. Pelosi is referring to a 25-minute call that she had with White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows on Thursday. The phone call was the first discussion on the stimulus package between Democrats and Republicans since August 7, when many expected Congress to pass the next stimulus package. The issue is clear, Republicans aren't interested in doubling the size of the next stimulus package. Republicans propose the HEALS Act, a $1 trillion stimulus package, as the next stimulus package. In contrast, Democrats propose the HEROES Act, a $3 trillion stimulus bill. While Pelosi wants to meet in the middle, Republicans say they're concerned about total stimulus spending, which has already exceeded several trillion dollars. That could be a very short conversation if they're not willing to meet in the middle. We're not budging. They have to move. Will Senate Republicans meet Pelosi's ultimatum? Both Meadows and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin have said that Republicans won't agree to a $2 trillion price tag for the next stimulus. Given this impasse, where do we go from here? Here are three potential scenarios for what could happen next. It's possible there simply won't be another stimulus package. This sounds almost unbelievable, given that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell RKY, said last month that a stimulus deal could be finalized in several weeks. Both parties wanted a stimulus deal, even if they hadn't agreed on funding amounts and policy priorities. With 35 senators and all members of the House of Representatives up for re-election this November, it's always helpful for elected officials to return to their districts and show concrete financial relief to their constituents. Without a stimulus package, there may not be a second stimulus check or more funding for federal unemployment benefits, school opening, payment protection plans small business loans and coronavirus testing, for example. For a large, comprehensive stimulus package, McConnell needs bipartisan support. However, if both parties cannot agree on total spending, there won't be a big stimulus bill. Republicans could pass their own stimulus bill, without Democrats.